Paris is home to some of the best food and wine in the world, but the city is also home to one of the country's best coffee roasters. In 2016, Alexis and Antoine founded Kawa, a specialty coffee roaster and retailer in the heart of Paris, France. Kawa retails some of the best coffees in the world, which can go up to 500 euros for a single cup. In this episode, we explore what makes Kawa one of the finest coffee roasters in Europe and the major ecological reason they decided to start a sustainable coffee company. Climate Story features leaders in green entrepreneurship from around the world. Don't forget to subscribe for weekly episodes on food, technology, and fashion. My name is Rashad Mehta, and this is Climate Story, episode 17, Kawa Coffee, Paris. Hey, hello guys. Let's get inside. So first of all, we have some coffee trees. Uh, it's just a tiny bit, but like uh, every year we try to try a process and uh, dry our coffee. And then we try it just among the team because we make around 100 grams of coffee with three coffee trees. So we know it's a very complicated uh, work. After that, we have like the green coffee a bit everywhere. We work with uh, almost more than 20 origin. We have Brazil, Kenya, Guatemala, Salvador, so quite a lot. And then here we have uh, our two rosters. So we have a 7 kilo lowering and a 70 kilo lowering. So the 7 kilo is made only for the very high-end coffee. And uh, on the other end, we roast most of our production on the 70 kilo. That's, that's some green coffee. And after it has been roast, When the roast is done, we have to do the packaging. So here we have like our packing machine for uh, uh, bags of uh, one kilo. They drop the bean, seal the bag, and then we put them in, into the pallet. It's completely finished. We put our, our coffee bag in, into uh, pallets. And, uh, and then they are ready to, pick, to be picked up by, uh, by our team and we send the coffee uh, in Paris through bicycles. One of my first coffee was with my grandmother and in the north of France, people drink big batch of filter. It's completely different from the south of France that is very influenced by Italy. So I used to live in London. At one point, my current business partner, we went then to try some coffee in a coffee shop. The first coffee I had was uh, an espresso. For me it was like something unbelievable with a lot of fruits, with a lot of acidity, sweetness, and so I wanted to know more. So at first I say, okay, yeah, it's interesting, it's different. There is way more sweetness. We were able to know the producer, the variety of the coffee, the process. At that time I was used to coffee pods, and in France we have a big culture of espresso. We moved back to France. We tried the coffee and we were like quite disappointed. We couldn't find many coffee shops or roasters. We wanted to know more about the way of buying the coffee, the way of roasting the coffee, the way it's produced. So I went to Colombia, then I get a training for roasting and then it just went natural and we dropped our previous business to do a, a roastery. First of all, when you learn about specialty coffee, you learn about freshness, you learn about like oxidation, and the fact of using uh, whole beans will help you to have a, a better cup. Quality of coffee, way different from what you get from a pot or even from wrong coffee that you find in supermarkets. When we came back to France, we knew pods were super popular and we wanted to find a way to propose and to offer something different. What, what we know about coffee pods is like, for instance, it's really hard to uh, recycle aluminium. The pressure on the aluminium plus the hot temperature of the water, some people say it will be uh, not really good for your health. So we were like, okay, now we need to convince consumers to drop pods. 
Why? Because when you're using pots, you have a lot of aluminium, you have a lot of plastic. And we did like studies, for instance, for companies. Just for six months, they were like using a, like a football pitch of pods. The idea was to roast in Paris to be closer to a consumer and therefore avoid to use cars. So Kawa Coffee is based in the 18th, this is where we roast. And we have a coffee shop in the third. So on the left side, you have the coffee experience. And on the right side, you have the store to buy your beans. So we have like a menu of four to five espresso and then same thing for filter. And I love to see couples coming to our shop because most of the time they are like, okay, I'll take the Colombian and me, I will take the Brazil. It's like a, in a restaurant when you are sharing a plate with someone, you can try everything. And this is something that I like in life. I like in coffee, I like in food, and I even like in, in music. I really wanted this space to be different. So today we are lucky to have some Panama Geisha from uh, Abu Farm. So the Geisha is a, a special variety. It's a long bean, quite thin. So right now we work with two farms in, uh, in Panama. I had the chance to visit like both of the farm uh, in February. I really love the terroir of Abu. On the other side, Jensen was an amazing farm, amazing people, really, really nice. So the coffee is really clean, really outstanding. Today we're gonna brew uh, Panama Geisha. The flavors are very, very focused on red fruit, so strawberry, raspberry, and then you have a nice thick and silky body. You have a strong acidity, like really intense, that gonna remind you like lemon or passion fruits. The cup is very floral. That's very typical from Panama Geisha, the most famous Geisha in the world. We really focused on that to have like something unique and to have like our style of roasting and our style of taste. When we started, we had to figure out how to be the most sustainable in every part of what we were doing. The most important part was the roster. So we had to choose a roster that was sustainable and was using less gas. And so we used a special roster that reused the hot air and the energy. 50% less gas uh, thanks to this roster, so, which is amazing So because we have the sustainable part and we also have the quality part all together. So first of all, we are recycling all our waste, all the stuff which we are trying to be careful and, and to recycle them the best way as we can. So we work with the farm that takes chaff waste from the coffee, uh, use it for, for the farm. We also try to deliver all of our coffee by uh, bicycles. So we work with the companies that have delivery guys uh, using uh, only bicycles. And I think then the next step is the way we're gonna transport coffee. It's really, really important because I think this is a weakness of the coffee. It's a beautiful product, but it comes from very, very, very far. So now there's a new way uh, to get coffee shipped by self boat And I think this is the future. We would like to have like all of our coffee uh, delivered this way. Right now, there is a lack of boats. I believe in five years, this is something that could be doable. The climate change is a, a big issue right now for producers. It's affecting the, the weather and mainly the, the, the rain. Uh, recently, I was speaking to uh, some producer in, in Colombia and the yield dropped of 40% because either too much rain or not enough rain, but it's not stable like it, it, it used to be. The best weather for uh, a coffee farm is to have rain during uh, almost nine months. It's a very tropical weather that uh, coffee needs, but you also like on a, on a tropical bed to have some because if it's too cold, you can't grow uh, you can't grow coffee. But same thing if it's too warm and if there is no rain, uh, all the plants are gonna die because it will be impossible to to, to get water for the for the trees. 
So I hope like for the industry, especially in France, uh, specialty coffee will grow because it's only 3% of the market, of the whole market of coffee in France. And then I hope we will uh, evolve and uh, take more responsibility for uh, the climate, for the sustainability, ecology, uh, because it's also going to play a big part of our products. It's if uh, climate change is, uh, uh, is too important, it will of course affect a lot like the productivity and yield of, of the coffee. But I will be really sad to lose certain uh, type of uh, variety like uh, Geisha, Sudan Rume, because of the climate change. This is our climate story and thank you. Thank you, thanks to you.